weather. They're also crock pot weather. And I've had people who have asked me about doing crock pot recipes. And so today I'm gonna to share with you a super, super easy, very few ingredients, uh, a beef vegetable soup. This one comes right from the Optivia app and super easy. I'm going to make it in my ancient crock pot and it will be perfect. So come on along and lean and green with me. Welcome to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. If you're new here, I am living in the light by documenting my weight loss journey using Optivia's 5-in-1 program. The Optivia 5-in-1 program consists of eating five fuelings that come to you each month, pre-packaged in your Optivia box, and then one lean and green meal that you make yourself, or you might find it out at a restaurant, but you make it yourself out of five to seven ounces of lean protein and three servings of non-starchy vegetables. So my recipe today is for a beef vegetable soup. Before I show you the ingredients though, just take a second, scroll down, hit that thumbs up button, and just let me know that you like this kind of content. And also, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, would you please consider doing that? Uh, leave the notification bell on if you wanna know when I publish new videos or turn it off if you don't want to and you just want to check for yourself. But if you would subscribe and if you would give me a thumbs up, that just really helps me. That is my little bit of encouragement from people saying you're doing a great job and we're supporting you along the way. Ingredients, super simple. I need one and a half to one and three quarters of a pound of a chuck roast and you're going to trim it of most of the fat and then slice it into small portions. So I've taken off most of the fat. And the great thing about chuck roast is that the fat is pretty solid. And so you can almost pull it off. I'm gonna leave a little bit on there because fat is flavor. I just know that I've taken off the big chunks of fat because I don't want that in my soup. The, the next thing I need is beef stock. Uh, the recipe also calls for salt, but it says low sodium beef stock. I couldn't find the low sodium. So I just got the regular. Um, this says it has 500 milligrams per cup and I'm gonna use this whole thing. So 500 milligrams per serving, but I'm not gonna add the salt that the recipe also calls for. The recipe calls for six cups of non-starchy vegetables, frozen vegetables. I'm not gonna use frozen, I'm gonna use fresh. And I will show you those vegetables that I'm choosing to do once I get to that part in the video. So the first step is just to take the beef and to cut it into thin slices and it doesn't really matter how you do it, it's all gonna kinda, kinda cook up and put it all in the crock pot. Some of this I've already got cut up into pieces. And I'm just gonna slice it up into little pieces knowing that it's gonna break down I'm gonna add this and my um, beef broth here, and I'm gonna use four cups or one container of low sodium beef broth. And I'm gonna put this into my crock pot, I'm gonna put it on high, and I'm gonna let it cook for two hours. So my husband, I've had a lot of people ask about do you cook every day? Because yes, I do cook every day because we eat every day. Um, and one thing that I do is when I make recipes like this, I will, um, of course I have a serving, my husband will have a serving and probably more than a serving. And then this one does four servings. So probably what I'll do is put one more serving in the freezer and then just leave the rest of it in the fridge and he'll have the rest of it as a lunch or something later on during the week. He's a firefighter and so he's home for 48 hours before he heads off to, to work. So I've got that in my crock pot. I'm gonna dump in my beef broth. And didn't wanna open all the way. And then I'm gonna put this on high and I'm gonna let it cook for two hours. And then I'm gonna come back and show you the last little bit's gonna just take another hour. Um, 
in the crock pot. So a total of three hours and dinner will be on the stove. I did bake a loaf of bread for David for his dinner. Um, so that's already done. I don't get to have the bread, but that's okay. Um, this is just a season and someday soon I hopefully will reach my goal and I'll be able to have a piece of bread occasionally uh, once in a while. We'll see. But anyway, I've got this set on high. I'll put the cover on it and then I will be back in a few hours to show you the next step. I think this might be my shortest meal video ever. Um, because this really is super simple. So what I decided to use in my soup, so I went back and I looked at the actual recipe. It was only supposed to be two cups of beef broth, but I'm not using the salt, which is a condiment, and I'm not gonna use the parsley, which is another condiment. So that those two cups right there, a cup of broth can, is counted as a condiment. So that makes up for that. So I'm gonna go with that. I have my vegetables, my six cups of vegetables. I weighed them out. I used two cups of raw cauliflower, which is seven ounces, two cups of raw broccoli, which is six ounces, one cup of diced uh, raw zucchini, and then one cup of frozen green beans. The zucchini was four ounces, the green beans is five ounces. I'm gonna dump all of this into my crock pot. So my green beans were frozen. It's the only thing frozen that I had. I'm gonna get it all down into the broth. It will cook and probably, I probably am not gonna come back and show you um, the finished, talk about the finished product, but what I will do is put a picture at the very end that shows you a serving of the soup. And I, so I'm gonna just let this cook for another probably 45 minutes to an hour and it should be ready to go. This makes four servings. It's gonna be about a cup of broth, and then maybe a little bit more than that because the vegetables will release some juices, and then about a quarter of the mixture that's in there. You just kind of eyeball it, do your best. Um, if you wanna get technical and weigh it, you can, but I'm gonna let this cook and then enjoy a wonderful warm bowl of soup for my lean and green tonight, so. Until I see you next time, please live in the light.